Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. Now in this video I will show you how to update your Moodle installation from your control panel. Now it all depends on your shared hosting account or your shared hosting provider. Mine is with A2 Hosting. So I'll go to my website, click on A2 Hosting and then click on Customer Portal. Then I'll add my username and my password and I click on login and this will take me straight to my control panel. On my home page, I will click on cPanel login and this will take me straight to my control panel. So here I'm in my control panel and immediately under Softaculous Apps Installers, you'll see there there are one update available, okay? And what A2 Hosting does is they send you an email when there are updates available. So you can now click on the update and it will take you to the update available and you'll see this is my Moodle installation. Here it says when I installed it and there is the current version and I can update it to or upgrade it to 3.11.6 okay so i can click here on all available updates and you'll see this is the only available one i can also click here on the top on all installations and it will show me all my installations on my control panel so since i will be updating my model installation i'll click on the upgrade to version 3.11 and these are the arrows uh, just going in circles I'll click on that now it asks me to create a backup and since I've already created the backup I won't do this again but I suggest you do that by create by clicking on this and creating a backup it also informs me that you will be upgrading to Moodle version 3.11.6 and I'm happy with that I'll click on upgrade and now it will start upgrading if there are errors it will show me the following errors were found required PHP extension not found sodium okay so what do we do now let's go to our control panel again by clicking on CP let's scroll down to where you can access your PHP immediately you'll see there select PHP version let's click on that okay so remember the error message said that sodium should be installed okay so let's go to S for sodium so it's OP URS and you'll see there's the sodium and we'll enable this you'll see there there's success module sodium has been saved and added okay so these are all the modules available for your PHP version okay so once it's enabled it will be added to that um, to the PHP version and we can go back now click on the update again again click upgrade to version 3.11.6 i'm not going to do the backup but you are going to do the backup i'll click on upgrade and now it should upgrade to the new 3.11.6 it says here it takes about three to four minutes but you'll see there it's done and you'll have a confirmation message that it's done i click on ok and now you need to click on your admin log into your admin account let's click on that so we've updated it or upgraded it on our control panel now we need to update or upgrade it within Moodle okay it says here upgrading Moodle database from 3.11.5 to 3.11.6 
and this is just a confirmation message yes i'm sure i want to upgrade it i click on continue it checks all if my environment meets the all the minimum requirements and here you can see it's all okay i click on continue And there you'll see I can click on upgrade Moodle database now and it will start upgrading my database okay click on continue okay so now let's log in says here just new settings have been saved so let's click on save changes okay so let's go to site administration and now let's go to notifications and you if you scroll down you'll see there Moodle 3.11.6 was just installed and this is how easy it is to upgrade your Moodle installation through your control panel. I hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.